video is a quick, easy five minute lesson in who is the Federal Reserve, how did it get started, who does it benefit, and how does it hurt. Uh, these quick and easy topics will be through before you know it, so sit back and enjoy the show. First, it's important to realize that the Federal Reserve is actually a company. It is, as they say, as federal as Federal Express. You need to kind of wrap your head around that before we get started. If you need to, you can Wikipedia that or look it up in your encyclopedia. In 1913, Woodrow Wilson signed into law the Federal Reserve Act. Now this act didn't actually mean that he created the Federal Reserve as a government entity. He just gave a banking system the right to, to take over our money creation process, as well as the power to set interest rates for all of our banks. A bank that has this sort of power is called a central bank. Here is what Thomas Jefferson had to say about central banks. The central bank is an institution of the most deadly hostility existing against the principles and form of our Constitution. I am the enemy to all banks discounting bills or notes for anything but coin. If the American people allow private banks to control the issuance of their currency, first by inflation and then by deflation, the banks and corporations that would grow up around them would deprive the people of all their property and tell their children to wake up homeless on the continents their fathers conquered. Let me try to make this even easier to understand in terms of what is going on here. Our government uses this private bank, the Fed, to issue new currency to us. Congress writes a treasury bill, gives that to the Fed, who then requests the Treasury Department that they print the money and then the Fed in turn charges us interest on this money. <laughs> I laugh. I have to. So we gave them the right to charge us interest on the money that they print for us. That is our money. And prior to 1913, we just printed it ourselves and didn't give them interest. Just so you know, 20% of all the tax that you pay in the United States goes to pay the interest only on the debt we incur with the Federal Reserve. Now let's make this even simpler. If you went to a financial advisor and said, what can I do to improve my financial situation? The first thing that they would tell you is to get rid of your credit card debt. Well then, in analogical form, the Federal Reserve is a giant credit card. And we, the American people, are a poor father who has to pay the interest rate and the balance on this credit card. Congress is a spoiled 18-year-old girl who wants a new Gucci bag every other day. It's true that the Federal Reserve could not exist without our government, but we could certainly exist without the Federal Reserve. But our congressmen are more than happy to keep using that credit card to keep piling on ridiculous debt, and we keep paying the tab. It's time for the poor father, us, to shred that girl's credit card. One of the most harmful things that the Federal Reserve does is create inflation. And inflation, without question, is the worst tax of all because it decreases the value of your money and you don't even know it. If you save $500, so 3% interest, in your bank account, and inflation is at 7%, you actually lost 4% of your money by saving it. Quick example. Most folks know that if you have a surplus of something, the value of that goes down. And if you don't have a lot of the item, the value goes up. Well, imagine what happens to the value of your money in your wallet when the Federal Reserve Bank decides it wants to create $85 billion worth of money to bail out Bear Stearns, a bank that made very bad business decisions. Not only does that flood of money into the system decrease the value of the money in your wallet, you also get the pleasure of paying interest to the Fed for this money. But wait, there's more. We could end up bailing, 
Bailey now Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Indy Mac, to the tune of God knows what. I mean, it's like $5 trillion is what they owe, okay? And even though you're not responsible for any of this nonsense, they get to laugh all the way to the bank. Or, okay, they're already at the bank, but whatever, they get to laugh. Whereas, we get to cry. Banks and people who made bad decisions should be allowed to fail. That's how the economy works. Uh, here are two very different people that you can Google that will fill in the blanks in a much clearer way than I can. You can Google Jim Rogers, billionaire and financial genius. Google Jim Rogers on the Federal Reserve or Congressman Ron Paul, studier of Austrian economics, doctor and patriot. You can Google Ron Paul on the Federal Reserve. At the same time, the law enacting the Federal Reserve System in 1913, our elected officials also had to sneak in the 16th Amendment to the Constitution. This is kind of a side note, but it's kind of important. Uh, that created the IRS. It was created for the sole purpose of paying the interest on that new credit card. The Fed will collect interest on the fiat currency they print and loan to us forever. So loyal patron citizens have been burdened with a direct income tax and hidden tax of inflation, all thanks to the Federal Reserve. In conclusion, remember what I told you about Woodrow Wilson being the one who uh, allowed the Federal Reserve to come into existence? Here's what he said about it in 1920. I am a most unhappy man. I have unwittingly ruined my country. A great industrial nation is controlled by its system of credit. Our system of credit is concentrated. The growth of the nation, therefore, and all our activities in the hands of a few men. We have come to be one of the worst ruled and one of the most completely controlled and dominated governments in the civilized world. No longer a government by free opinion, no longer a government by conviction and the vote of the majority, but a government by the opinion of dress of a small group of dominant men. If you have felt that this video has been helpful and enlightening and want to help me, you can. The next time you need your you or your organization need t-shirts, promotion items, go to clearsky24.com and buy some t-shirts. Or, I have a local favorite running for Congress. If you can swing by his website, KC for Congress, and donate $10 or whatever you can, that would be fantastic. KCforCongress.org We need to take Congress back, and we can do that one representative at a time.